have a very pretty pastel based um, card for you today with a little bit of letter pressing and we're going to show you how to cut the uh, stamped image out and make a frame out of it and decorate it with some pretty flowers. So I'll show you what we're going to be using for today's card. The stamp is from the Stamps to Die For range. It's called the Blossom Frame. It fits with the Vancouver die. The flower is the Camellia Complete Petal. Out of the Canadian collection is the Vancouver die set. For an accent, we're going to be using the Maidenhair Fern from the Finishing Touches. And the border across the bottom of the card is from the Canadian Collection Border Corner Tag Set. And to do our letter pressing, we're going to use the embossing folder called Bed of Roses. This is a really, really good one for this um, technique. The stamp uh, sentiment comes from a Creative Expression set called Special Sentiments. And this is an unmounted set, so you'll need to mount it up yourself. Let's set these aside and we'll get started. So I'm going to dive right in and do the background and the letter pressing first thing. Now, a couple things um, to know about letter pressing technique to get really good results is um, if you can use a pigment-based ink, it gives you a much smoother look than a dye-based ink for the most part. So I've picked the Peach Bellini, which is the Adirondack um, Ranger pigment ink, okay? And you can choose either side to letter press with. It's totally your call. I prefer to have one that's got just a little bit more solid area. And this feels like it's this side. So I'm gonna just ink it up by tapping and getting a nice even coat. Just pretend like it's a stamp that you're inking up and you wanna get it nice and even all the way around that. Now the thing about letter pressing is, whatever you see on your folder is what you're going to see on your card. So if, if you've got streaky areas or light areas or you know big inky spots, they're gonna come across on your card. So that's why you wanna tap it and make sure it's nice and even all the way around. I tend to try and do a little bit larger area than the card that I'm using, just so it's nice and um, even all the way to the edges. That's looking pretty good. Now this is a pigment ink, so it's not gonna dry quickly, so you don't have to worry about that. But you just wanna get it as nice and even as possible. There we go, okay. Set that, in fact, let's put our liner back in there. Set that over there, okay. Now I'm just gonna lay that right in the center very carefully, fold it closed, and bring around our base plate and our raspberry adapter plate, put that on top, and that's our sandwich. We'll run that through the machine, the Grand Caliber. And now that will squish through the rollers there and it will transfer onto the, um, the cardstock from your folder. Okay. Ooh, came out really nice. Looks absolutely lovely. The thing is, it goes down into the floor of the design, which you couldn't do just by inking over the top of that. You would only be able to get the raised part. So that's why letter um, pressing technique is really nice to use. Now the other thing you have to do is you have to clean up your folders. So I've just got a grime boss here, and I'm gonna take all that ink off before I put it away. And that way you won't have any kind of transfer the next time you go to use it. There we go. I'll set that down here for the moment. Okay. So now we've got this beautifully letter press background here. I'm just really excited with that. That came out so pretty. It's nice and evenly coated. I've gone ahead and cut one of the borders from the Canadian Border Collection. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that into place first. We'll just put a little bit of Rice clear glue on the top here, all the way across, and then I'll hit some of the, uh, the little spots here to kind of hold it in place. It's very detailed, so you've got to kind of pick and choose where you put your glue. But I've got some swirly bits I can kind of hide a little dab behind. And there we go. Catch the top 
in some spots. That should hold that nice. Okay. And I'm going to put this towards the bottom and leave a little bit of room on the top for our focal image. Right about, I think that looks pretty good about like that. There we go. Give that a second to hold. And then we're just going to nip away the um, excess bit here. Use the edge of the cardstock as our guide and we'll just hand cut it. You can use a paper cutter at home. There we go. Okay, so now I can go ahead and just glue it onto my base piece since I've got that cut and ready out of the way. So I'll add a little bit of glue. And as usual, I've gone ahead and prepared a base, a little bit of piercing around. I've got some mats and some layers there. I went with the, um, the peach card to match and then a black accent. Let me just get that nice and straight there. Okay, so that's good and ready to go. Oh, I just like the way that came out. Really nice. Now, I've stamped my blossom frame here. I've done a little bit of color, and I kind of exaggerated it a little bit just so you could see. I'm going to cover it with a piece of self-adhesive sticky sheet. Just peel the backing off. There we go. Get that right over the top of that. Peel it down real good and lift up the other side of the backing piece. There we go. Okay. A little bit of um, diamond snow here. I'm just going to sprinkle that across the top. I usually have a little um, piece. Let me see if I can use this here as a catch-all, but I've misplaced my little... Uh, piece of copy paper there. So let's just see if I can get that back in. Not too bad. Okay. Tidy up a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this into a frame using the outer piece of the Vancouver. And let's just tape this into place. Just line it up around there as straight as you can tape it into place. Now with that glitter, it's not going to tape really, really well, so I'm going to try and catch the edge there. And let's go ahead and cut the inside while we're doing it. Oops, get on there. And that looks okay. One more piece there. Okay. Bring in our cutting plate, and we'll pop this one through. You can hear the glitter, but that's not a problem at all. It cuts beautifully through it. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to leave this into the um, dye a little bit, and I'm going to kind of ink over the glitter with some of the um, Peach Bellini dye, um, ink there so I can have the same exact look coming through. Bring that back around. I'll just use a little smooth, use a little smoothie. Just catch the edge of this. Let's bring in some of this color. I like this glitter because it's so easy to ink and color through. So if you decide you want to change something or add a little more color to it after you're done, it's easy to do this. There you go. And this will tone in a little bit more of that background color too. Got a little piece of something on there. There we go. That looks nice. Put our little liner back in. Let's take this apart now. So you can see you've got a really pretty frame there. Just a little bit of um, added extra work to that, a little coloring, some glitter, kind of bling it up really nicely. I think that really brings out the, the beauty of that dye. Um, I've added a couple little pearls to the center of the flowers, and then I've done a little bit of mounting with some mounting foam on the back. Now, I've stamped my sentiment onto the peach card, so I'm going to go ahead and mount this over the top of it. Just raise it a little bit for dimension. 
Here we go. Okay, you can center that right over the top of that. It's really nice and pretty. Just love the way that come out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the center with some Dries clear glue on the back of it just to hold it nice and secure on that embossing. Looks good right about there. And add some little floral element to it. Done some um, black tool here. I'm going to add that with a piece of a, a couple pieces of a glue dot here, right in the knot, just on the corner of that border there. I went ahead and made a um, pretty camellia out of the peach card, and we'll add that on top of our black jute. I like to have a bit of the different textures when I put together a floral element. I just think it's interesting that way. Put that right in the center. And we are just gonna take this maiden hair fern and do a little trimming down. I wanna take that down a tiny bit in size. I'm gonna nip it right here, and nip this one. Just take a little bit of that off. Since that's a smaller flower, I'm gonna take that down a tiny bit in size. And we'll just seat that right under the edge of that, poking out the bottom. A little bit of glue will hold that nicely, and I think I'll just put this one right like that. There you go. How pretty is that? And I really think that that letterpress background just says it all really, really shines with that beautiful stamped image with it. Hope you've enjoyed today's video card.